Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the Visuals with Nax series where I'm going to talk about text slices. What it is, when to use it, once you use it, what are the benefits you're going to get. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI, fundamentals of Azure and SQL as well. Please feel free to share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin our today's topic. I'm in Power BI desktop now and I can see a one visual that contains a product wise sales amount and it contains different product description. Basically, uh, the we know different filters. You usually use um, filters to filter out the data, right? Once you apply certain filters, the data will be restricted and you can show. So this text filters is similar kind of a filter. So you can see here, this is appearing right now. If it is not appearing, you should have the latest version uh, after November 2024, because this is introduced on November 2024. I pre always prefer you have the latest version. So just use the January 2025 if you can. Now, if you can see here, this is the text slices you need to check this box and then to press ok you need to restart your power bi desktop then reopen it you will get this text slicer let's check it out here so now i made the text slices here and i want to um, use the search over here right based on certain fields obviously it requires certain fields to be pointed out so let's try to add that field that is the english product name now based on this field this particular data will be filtered because this also has the same product here if you see dim product and the sales amount from the fact now i use the same column name in my filter now just i will check based on the color black i need a black then press ok then i getting the result set this gives a much user friendly or user experience user experience is enhanced so this is what this text slicer is all about i want to uh, take to the next level like how i can have multiple search criteria right uh, let's say i need a black also i need <coughs> if it contains the silver right for that this current future right now as soon as soon as you drag and drop that will not allow for that you need to enable the slicer settings to accept multiple values so once you press it is resetted now again you need to type as i type before black then press enter then it will allow me to enter multiple values Right now, it is showing only for whichever has a black anywhere from the beginning. It, it is acts like a contains, right? Then you press silver. Now you can see <coughs> either black or silver. So it, it works like a R condition. So this is what the textualizer is. You can have multiple values right now. I hope uh, this is clear now uh, those who are watching my channel you can ask me what is the difference between the advanced filters and text filter right let's try to understand this using the performance value analyzer now let me introduce a performance analyzer then i'll say start recording refresh visual so for this table to populate what is the dax measure i have got let's go to dax and then copy paste in the query two. now you can see uh, what it happened black and silver is passed as a parameter if i use the text slicer right everything uh, like summarize columns this and all uh, is fine now i i just want to ignore this text slicer right ignore this text slicer instead I will use this filter the on the page let's try to understand that so let me take this slicer and i need to go to advanced filtering basic filtering you it will allow you to choose right advanced filtering it also contains the uh, search criteria so let me type black 
and then I press R condition say contains silver this time I'll put just silver to differentiate the previous and current condition let me press apply this also give me the same results let's try to understand uh, the performance analyzer let me refresh the visual again so I got the result copy Cori go to Cori 2 window now you can see basically it uses the search function when I use the uh, text slicer what about this particular filter pane right that also uses the same if you see the difference between the previous and the earlier one I don't see visually any difference keep filters values dim product search black and silver this is using the filter pane and this is using the uh, previous uh, window that is the text slicer so basically the query perspective it doesn't make any impact so all I want to suggest is you can either use um, uh, the filter pane or in the text slicer right both are in performance perspective behaves same but why still we need this one because it used for some other embedding purposes some report view or page view doesn't support filters or they don't like filters pane to be used it's all about a user experience perspective enhancing uh, the report in within this page right they want to do all the operations they don't want to expand the filter pane or keep this filter pane in the embedded so those kind of purpose you go for the text slicers I hope uh, you understand the purpose of the text slicer in terms of um, how to use it and also pers performance perspective there is no impact compared to other filter options available if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset